We now direct your attention to the winner's circle for a performance from the Bears drum line. The Chicago Bears drumline here on Chicago Bears Day at Arlington. Well, we're now broadcasting live before the third race here at the bottom of the grand staircase. That is where the Super Bowl trophy from the Bears is. And folks, you can get up nice and close and personal with the trophy. Take a picture of it. If you don't know where the bottom of the grand staircase is, it is actually by the uh, gift shop here on the apron level so the gift shop's right over here the grand staircase ask any person in an information booth or a red code they'll be able to direct you to the bottom of the grand staircase come and check out the chicago bears super bowl trophy so cool i'm gonna take my picture up next
All right, we are getting ready for the fifth race here on Chicago Bears Day at Arlington Park, and I'm joined right now by Jared Payton, the son of the greatest of all time, Walter Payton. Jared, how you doing? Uh, tell us, you have a little beer tasting out here on the patio outside, Mr. D's. What do you What do you got going? Yeah, you know, you know, Arlington gave me an opportunity to debut my beer here on Bears Day, and uh, it's Jared Payton All American Wheat Ale, and it's uh, brewed here in Chicago with Argus Brewery, and. So not only are we making beer here, but we're also creating more jobs here in Chicago, which is always a great thing. And also some proceeds are going back to my foundation. So that's always a great thing. And it seems like people here at Arlington Park are enjoying the brew. Well, it's a good day for a brew because it's kind of hot outside. I can vouch for it. I had a little sip of it. Uh, you also have a radio show, right? Yes, uh, www.chicagolandsportsradio.com, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And um, 10 o'clock, we, we talk sports. and. We just like people to be able to listen in while they're at work, argue with us every once in a while. <laughs> All right, some of your uh, dad's old teammates are around here right now, McMichael and uh, Thayer down in the paddock signing autographs. You want to go get an autograph? Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to have to watch out for those guys because uh, those guys are the guys that play tricks on you all the time. So uh, if I see McMichael, I just got to make sure I'm watching my back. I have to steer clear from McMichael because I just gave him a couple losers. So. <laughs> this is a great day. Uh, this is one of the greatest parks. and. I was born and raised in Arlington Heights, so it's always special to be back uh, where I grew up. All right, Jared Payton, come out and taste his beer right outside Mr. D's Sports Bar. Fifth race coming up. We are coming up on the seventh race on Chicago Bears Day at Arlington Park. Got a nice cast of characters out here, three from the Chicago, the 85 Chicago Bears. Nick Roach for the current roster. You're on vacation right now, but getting ready for training camp. What are you guys going to look like this year? We're feeling pretty good right now. You know, as long as we keep everybody healthy, we had a good offseason. Uh, mini camp OTAs went well, so just looking forward to getting to training camp. Kind of fun to get out there on the field as a linebacker with Briggs and Erlacher, huh? Yeah, it's always fun, man. Just playing with, playing with a historic pair, uh, able to learn from those guys and just see how they work. Uh, it's cool for me to be able to, to play with them. All right, Nick, best of luck to you. Speaking of history, you got a lot of history here. Sean Gale, Tom Thayer, Steve McMichael. You having fun at the races, Sean? Having a great time. Come out here, see all the fans. See these fantastic races. Listen to you make the calls, the right calls for us. How much money did you guys win? The so right far? call? Let me see. <laughs> All losers. Thanks, Howard. Well, I got one for you this race. Tom, it's amazing the, you know, the staying power of the 85 Bears and the popularity that you guys have had after all these years, isn't it? Yeah, but I think this is a reflection of the Bears fans. The 85 is always going to be great to us because we were able to live through it. But when you look out over the edge of the stands and you see all those Matt Forte jerseys, the Brian Urlacher jerseys, you know that these guys are true blue Chicago Bears fans, which is great to see. It is. All right, Mongo, you got a pick for this race? The Chicago Mid Monsters of the Midway Cup. Anybody but you, Howard. Come on, <laughs> give, me, give me a horse. I've got one in here. The favorite looks pretty solid leading astray. That's my pick. So get your money out and go to the window. The money just went through, All right. The the <laughs> All right, getting ready for the seventh. Monsters of the Midway Cup, Chicago Bears Day at Arlington. All right, that was the Monsters of the Midway Cup. And right now, the chairman of Arlington Park, Richard L. Duchesma, wants to say a few words to our great Bears fans here and to our uh, Bears guests from the 85 team and Nick Roach from the uh, current Bears. Thank you for coming out and supporting the Bears, and they've been supporting you. Isn't it great to have a wonderful team like the Bears here in Chicago? We have a little presentation for them. Howard? All right, uh, we have some custom-made Chicago Bears silks, uh, if you want to drop those right there. They look beautiful. And everybody, you can give a good round of applause to these Chicago Bears. And here is the Super Bowl trophy from 1985, <laughs> held carefully by Tony Petrillo. A lot of pressure, Tony. Not at all. All right, Sean, thanks for coming out today, guys. As I said in the paddock a few minutes ago, it was a long time ago, but uh, Chicago still loves the 85 Bears because you were not only a great team, but a lot of characters. Well, the 85 Bears, we can't say enough about the fans here in Chicago. They've supported us over the years and you know we look back at a time that was magical for us all and we look forward to even a better time with the current Bears. What do you think this fall Nick. I think we need to at least try to do what they did you know get the fans what they want uh, give them something else to support with some uh, some younger guys and just kind of try to see what it feels like. Well, take a look at that trophy that's what you're after. Come here Mongo. I gave you I gave you the winner there I know it only paid 280. Yeah, and I was signing autographs and didn't get to place a bet. You go figure. <laughs> Lucky in love. That's all I got to say. Because you know, we love you people. We always have. 
when you were throwing me those bottles on the top of that bus at the parade after the Super Bowl, it kept me from freezing to death. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't feel like it was 20 below windshield factor like it was. All right, good luck to the Bears this year. Thanks to you guys for coming out. The Monsters of the Midway Cup, let's have it. A round of applause for the Super Bowl trophy and the Chicago Bears. And I like to dance Running the ball is like Mickey Moore, man We had to go to the training camp To give Chicago a Super Bowl champ And we're not doing this because we're greedy The Bears are doing this to be the needy